the, the body and the mind is, you know, you can break your leg and you can tell your mind, you know, in your mind, you can tell yourself that it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Or it's not that bad. But at the end of the day, your leg is still broken. It still very much hurts. Yeah. So, you know, it's like your mind is, is like a temperament. It can control that. It can manage it. But it does not stop or, or wipe away the effects of anything physically. Yes. Uh, so I played four years of college football. I could, my mind couldn't tell me I could still play anymore. I was popping Vicodins before the game, the last five games of my career. You know, be, be, and I've been telling myself my whole life that, you know, it, I'm cool. Right. But then when the body shuts down, the body shuts down. And wow. So it's, it's really like that. I feel like this, like, okay. Hold on, let, let, let me. <laughs> This, let, this is just, this just got, that goes into uh, the same science. effect of when you get old. When, when gravity plays a part on your body and your mind is still sharp. And you old, 90 something years old, but your body gone, but your mind is sharp as a tack. It's actually op the opposite way, it's the other way around. Your mind, your mind doesn't, you, you lose neurons as you get older, but your body can mind, mind stay in touch. But as we get time. older, we lose, like that's what people, when people get older, they're more likely to like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's because we're losing yeah. functions. Of our, of our brain, brain, you know? Mm. Yeah. Wow, so but, does this mean that we're like... This is a crazy factorization that we've just come into an uh, encounter with. Because we have a factor where we say that the, the brain controls the bond, but then he just showed us the exact opposite, where you can't control your body at a certain point. I think we're missing one thing. The one thing that we're missing is that an addiction is not necessarily a bad thing. An addiction is an uncontrollable habitual habit, mm -hmm. which starts by doing something over and over and over and it becomes a routine. Mm -hmm. So you can be, like for instance, I'm addicted to working out. My mood is completely different. If I don't work out for one to two days, I'm a completely different person. And that's something that I need for me to be okay in my mind and my head. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I've realized with addiction, whether it's drugs, good, bad, or positive, you can't get over an addiction without replacing it with something else. Because right, as human yeah. beings, we're always seeking gratification. Always. Always. And I think that's kind of what we're, we're, what we're missing here. It's not always a bad thing. Oh, no, it's just that we were talking about But, yeah, and it's just, yeah, <laughs> with us. Yeah. A uh, valid point that you brought out of that, though, is seeking gratification. Yes. Because the seeking gratification factorization of it is the pinpoint of everything, you know, and it's like, it, whether it's the emptiness, whether it's the fulfillment factor of it, whether it's the void of trying to find something else to cure that void that you have in your life, and before you know it, you're like, dang, how did I get in this hole? You know what I'm saying? Or you can find new friends and new people and be around them and open up. I, I can't really agree with the gratification part because how do you explain the stars who get addicted to all these substances and ruin their career? I mean, mm -hmm. People who are yeah. looked up to and role models and everybody loves them and then their gratification. They, they're, they're, I, I can I can answer that because just think about if your phone's ringing a million times a day. Think about everybody in your whole life that you ever met. Now you got people asking, telling you your cousin. Now you got people telling you, hey, man, I got this great business plan, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I got this new idea, you know, and it's like all you have is nothing but people around you. Like, it makes you feel it like, you you like you don't have nobody, you know, friends. Yeah, well, well, my, my point was, I think people get a, addicted to these things because they see difference. They see something other than what their reality is. So it's... Uh, a substance abuse, any kind of addiction, like you, you get drawn to this thing because it makes you outside of yourself. It makes you like working out, makes you feel empowered. Mm -hmm. Video games make you feel in control. You know, caffeine makes you feel like you can work all day. And it's like when you once were lazy and dormant, now you're energized and you can do all these things. People seek difference out of these addictions, and that's what you. That's when yeah. it comes, you know, and these are all, yeah, these are all positive addictions, and these are all things that can make you better and, like, free your mind, but it's still an addiction. That's why I, it's, like, strong-minded and weak-minded people alike, you know, however you want to label them, we all have our own addictions. And, you know, these addictions can either make you a professional and, like, get you where you need to go, right? or they can make you... 
Uh, or you don't skip all that last day. Yeah. 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 So that's like the, 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 so that, that's yeah. the strong, the strong minded show, the positive of addiction. That's what makes strong minded. I have something to say though, because y'all keep talking about strong minded and weak minded. But I don't really think it has to do nothing with that because you can be 23, 24 years old and still have a mentally like disability issue of being thinking you're eight years old. You have that mentality of that strong minded, weak minded. You're over eight years old, being 24 years old at that age yourself. You know, like it has to do with like you know getting them young. And they of certain abuses when you get them young, you know, like uh, you you'd be surprised mm -hmm. for like the people that are in here that you know actually have been through like substance abuse and addictions. Like you know, there's like just so many things you can get like. Addicted to it, like like she said, working out, like being a like baseball fanatic, you know, being like sport like fanatic. That's being addicted to like, you know, your your like your top of your, who makes you you, you know, like. And it also starts with like basically like where you come from, like you know, like I didn't grow up with a without a, like, with a, with a father, so me being being that person, like I just I feel like you know I have to be my father my own way, you know, I have to learn my own like lessons, you know. Even if my mom told me, you know, what, don't do this, you know, you're gonna it's gonna take you the wrong way. I, I'm still doing it because, you know, I'm a man, I'm going to do it myself, you know, uh, you I have that mentality that, you know, that I'm, you know, I'm tough, you know, like, I'm, I'm strong-minded, you know, I'm, but I'm still nine years old, being strong-minded, how is that possible, you know, like, some 24-year-old year -old, year -old guy can come over, like, easily and knock me down, you know, just because he's stronger, so it's just, like, it has to do with, like, a lot of, like, like, you just, like, the mind controls the brain, like, it's also controls, your heart controls, like, a lot of emotions, too, that your brain controls. So like once your once your bloodstream is like addicted to a certain drug, your bloodstream levels are gonna be higher or lower, and then you're gonna you're gonna have to start having symptoms. You know, you're gonna start scratching yourself. You're gonna, your your bloodstream is gonna be dirty. So now you that's when you're addicted. You're gonna scratch yourself like saying, I need this fix. You know, I need I need to do this. You know, I'm gonna do it anyway Just I can. Yeah, yeah. And, and it also has to do with like yeah, like she brought a good topic on like meeting meeting new people. You know, you can't. Like you, the people you talk about that is only the people you knew back then. You, know, you can't really bring this topic to like new tables and expect people to understand it because like they're just gonna be tripped out. Like oh, like what? You know, like, <laughs> like, 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 like,